Hi. The Lord spoke to me. He said to me, speak all the truth. And he gave me a message to all preachers and pastors. They must speak all the truth. If you don't speak all the truth, my friend, you are lying. And many people are going to hell because of you. Because you are hiding the truth from people. For that reason, I want to read from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 and 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they, they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to meet. So you like to speak people itching to ears. You hide the truth. My friend, if you want, don't want to speak the truth, all the truth, rather to not speak than to speak half of the truth because you are lying. You are taking people to hell because you hide from them the truth. You have the key of knowledge. You don't enter. You don't let the others enter. You only speak to them things to itching ears and you hide from them the truth and you turn aside to myths. If you speak only Jesus he died and rise from dead and you don't give them that if you don't, don't follow Jesus till the end, if they are not faithful till the end, they don't overcome sin in their life, they can never enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus spoke all the truth. He didn't look at the face of people. This man is rich, this man is poor. He didn't look the face. He looked the heart. He knew what was thinking everybody and he gave them all the truth. For that reason he said, they shall be all taught by God because only Jesus, he speaks all the truth. For that reason, my friend, rather, I prefer to say to you by the name of the Lord to stop preaching if you don't want to speak all the truth. I want to read also from Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 19 and 21. Yet, if you want the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his inquity, but you have delivered your soul. Nevertheless, if you want the righteous man, that the righteous sin not, and he doesn't, does not sin, he shall surely live because he is warned. Also you have delivered your soul. So my friend, if you don't speak all the truth, your soul will not be delivered. You will stumble many people, my friend. So you must speak all the truth and live the truth. You must follow Jesus first to be example to the others. I want to read from John chapter 12, verse 48. He that rejects me and receives not my words has, has one that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. The words of Jesus will judge you, my friend, because you hide the truth from people. Jesus spoke all the truth, but you don't say to them, not only everybody says, Lord, Lord, enter to the kingdom of heaven, but you must make the will of the Father. The will of the Father is to follow Jesus and to obey Jesus and to hear the, Lord, the, Lord, the voice of Jesus. If you don't hear his voice, he will say to you, I never knew you. You, you made lawlessness. So speak the truth, my friend. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 21, I have not written to you because you know not the truth, 
but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. My friend, if you are lying to people, you are not from the truth. You don't have even the spirit of truth. So you will be judged severely. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. You must speak all the truth. You can't. Even it will cost you to die. Like Stephen. He spoke all the truth. He didn't hide anything. He didn't scare from man. In Acts chapter 7, verse 51 to 59, you stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who foretold the coming of the just one, of whom you know have become the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the direction of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed at him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. He spoke all the truth. He died, but he gave all the truth. For that reason, God, Jesus, he stood up for him. So my friend, if you are scaring to speak the truth because you want to please people, you are a wicked man. You must repent and come back to Jesus to speak all the truth, even if it will cost you to die, like Stephen, to be martyr, rather than to not speak the truth and to live in this world and go to hell. So what do you want, my friend? Choose or speak the truth and to die with Jesus, or rather to not speak the truth and go to hell. God bless you. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. Are you ready for the rapture?